Hello everybody, my name is Hobby John. Today I am talking about my knives and kind of some life's lessons I've learned. What you're looking at here is the first knife I ever bought. And the reason why I'm rolling that in front of the camera is I'm going to show you the last knife I ever bought, which was this last week. Now, this is the first knife I ever bought with the intention of carrying it every day. When I was in Scouts, I had a little uh, Victorinox Swiss Army knife. And I have misplaced that. I have no idea where it is. And this was... I bought this when I was in my 20s. Early 20s. I think I was 22, 23. The year 2000. Now, I didn't know anything about pocket knives. Just what I learned from my Swiss Army knife. So all I wanted was a locking blade with just a knife. And, you know, talking with people, nobody really gave me any good input that I really, you know, respected and you know, I was under the impression, as were my friends, bigger is better. So I got this larger knife and I got this blade shape for no other reason than I thought it looked cool. Well, living with this knife proved to be difficult. After about a week, this is a Magnum, by the way. I think it's made by Becker. And this knife was large and bulky and heavy. So to carry it every day, I could feel it weighing me down. And after the first week, these grip, the grip inserts here, the rubber grip inserts, peeled out. So I super glued them back in. They peeled out again like the next week. Um, years later, after you know I had put this knife on the shelf, I finally ended up using golf shafting epoxy. Yeah, I custom fit my own golf clubs. And then they finally stayed in, but that, that was long after I put this on the shelf. I, I might have pocketed this for maybe two months before I finally got sick of it and just put it on the shelf, put it away. And I think I threw it in my toolbox where, it, you know, where I found it for this video. And I just use it for various odd jobs around the house. So, I mean, I don't, I don't want to review the knife. It was just like, I didn't like this blade shape. I was getting only wear here and on the tip, you can see the tips broke off. The long run, the loose, the crappy steel, the terrible chisel grind, I could go off forever. Anyway, needless to say, Hated that knife. Didn't like it. Despised it. Bigger is better nothing. Okay? Put that away. I learned a lot from this knife. You know, if you're new to knives and you're looking for something, you know, buy what you think look, buy, buy what you think you would like. Because you're going to learn a lot from it. So, I learned, you get what you pay for, and I learned a lot of different things I didn't like. So, over the course of the next few months, I remember going to different places, stores like, you know, Walmart, Target, sporting goods stores, looking for a good knife. I couldn't really find one that really impressed me. So one day I found a knife shop and I was talking with the gentleman behind the counter and I was being, maybe I was being a little difficult. I was like, well, I don't like this blade handle. I don't like this, or this uh, knife handle. I don't like the blade shape. I don't like really the way this looks. I don't like that. And he's like, he looks at me and he's like, well, how much do you want to spend? And I, I don't know, so I shrugged my shoulders. I don't know. And so he's like, well, if price isn't an issue, let's go back here and look at these. So he introduced me to, oh dear, here it comes, Benchmade. Yep, that's right. I think it was 2001. And first thing I noticed was this was a lot smoother, had it seemed to have a better blade steel, and the locking mechanism was worlds better than that Magnum. It was thinner. Don't know how well you're going to be able to see. It's thinner, it's a little bit lighter, it's still kind of a heavy blade, and I was really impressed with it. Ambidextrous use here, you know, very useful for a fisherman like me. And, I mean, the grip wasn't, the handle material isn't perfect, but that clip, this clip is perfect. It's big enough it'll fit around a leather belt without, you know, protruding up too far. It'll fit easily in your pocket, it'll be comfortable. I know from fishing trips that this, these grip panels turn into a bar of soap when you get fish guts and slime all over it. I mean, it's really slick. However, all those things aside, this knife I loved so much I carried it with me every day for five years. Now, I didn't really use it on, in every task and sometimes I would carry other knives with it, but this knife was with me in one way or another for five years. Almost every day. I might have missed a couple of days here and there. And you can see there are all sorts of dings from carry. I've dropped it a couple of times. There's a huge ding on this side right here. And yes, on a backpacking trip, 
I actually opened a can of chili with it. That's sacrilege. You, can, you should never use a bench. That's just abuse. That's not the right tool for the job. I know. But the individual who carried in a can of beans didn't have a can opener. Can you imagine the weight of carrying a can of beans on a backpacking trip? Yeah. So having some mercy and having, you know, the only locking blade of the group fell on me to open the, his can of chili. Yeah, well, I have the marks right here of the steel against tin wearing out my whatever finish they put on this thing. A lot of people will tell me, well, that's why I hate the, the, finish, the black finish on those knives is because it comes off and then it looks ugly. Well, I think it looks cool, and plus I have happy memories. I mean, I just, it's just a laugh. I, it's just hilarious. Anyway, so this knife, ha, I, you know, I became attached to this knife. It had too much sentimental value for me to carry it around anymore. So I put this knife aside because I had found a new knife. Enter a Kershaw. I looked online for pictures of my model. I, I don't even know what kind of Kershaw it was. I just knew it was a Kershaw. I liked the steel on the blade and I lost it on a construction site. My fault, I know. Then enter a Spider Codelica to replace that. And I thrashed that Spider Co. It had been stepped on, dropped, burnt. Yeah, burnt. There was a big melt mark across the the handle, and there was actually two dings in the blade where I dropped them on metal product, or I think uh, one was on concrete. Either way, yeah, I kind of might have abused that knife too, but either way, it was kind of my everyday construction knife. I'm not next to my utility box. I need a knife, kind of a open product blade. And that leads us to one of the reasons why I'm making this video is I just got a new knife this last week. Enter the Bird Robin. It's a little smaller than the Spyderco Delica, and the blade still might not be quite as good. The grip handles seem pretty good, and it locks up, and it's probably going to be fine. I needed a little tank for, you can see my history with knives. I kind of am rough with knives. I use them hard. The reason why I buy a knife is to use it, even with this one. I'm not a collector. Nothing wrong with collecting. It's just not what I do. You can see this is my knife collection right here. All of you know, what well, would it be five knives if I hadn't lost two of them? So I wanted something inexpensive, which this is. I paid around $40 for it. I wanted something that was small, unintimidating, which is a whole new video, a whole different video on politics and uh, what you can do for rights. But either way, some people are intimidated by knives, and I'm not going to get referrals or references if I'm intimidating people with large, big, intimidating tactical knives. When I pull a knife out, I don't want people to be like, whoa, that's a big knife. Especially to the small, per I think it's a small percentage of people who are intimidated by knives. And I'd rather, you know, be unintimidating and political and get some references or referrals out of people and use a, what looks like a really unintimidating small knife. So that's one of the reasons why I went with this. Big steel liners in there. Hopefully, you know, they'll hold up to my lifestyle. I don't know if I'd recommend this knife to anybody. It just happens to fit my lifestyle. Mostly, you know, I'm going to be using my box cutter style utility knives with the razor blades inside of them. So this knife will see some use and I'll keep you updated. If I get some cool dings and chips, I'll show you. Or if I melt the handle. I don't know if this G10 stuff melts like the plastic on the Spyderco does. But either way, life is like a knife. You need to use it. Please dig into your life. Get away from the computer, the TV. Go out on some adventures and have some fun. Use your knives, if nothing else. The reason why you buy a knife is to use it. Now, I know there's collectors out there. So collectors, yeah, whoa, back off, easy on the comments. I know, you know, collecting is a whole different realm. I'm talking about knives that you buy with the intention of using it. If you have no knives and you buy a knife, because you watch a review online or something, you're like, hey, that'd be awesome. I want to go buy a knife and carry it with me everywhere. You buy a knife with the intention of carrying it everywhere and you don't, uh, that's not collecting. That's just not using your knife. Cheap knife, go out and get a cheap knife. Go out and have some adventures. Adventures meaning backpacking trips, hiking, camping, getting out, you know, shooting your shotgun, shooting some clay pigeons. Bring your knife with you. There are places where you won't want to bring your knife. Obviously, this knife 
this, the blade on this knife is a little longer than two inches, so there are places where this knife wouldn't be welcome. So be cautious of your environment, be political, but have fun. Go out and live your life. Don't let life pass you by. Life is too short for that. You guys know that. You guys have seen my other videos. Go out and have some fun. You don't, you don't need anything super fancy. You don't need a shotgun to have fun. Go out and get a BB gun. Well, my name is Hobby John. Hope that is interesting to somebody. It's my new knife. You may never see it again. It may be lost next week. So have fun. Be safe.